Hello everyone. In this INR number 74, we are going to discuss a very important PYQ which came in recent exam that is Kawasaki disease. Right? So what is Kawasaki disease? Remember it is a medium vessel vasculitis. So please remember this is a medium vessel vasculitis and they are also known as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome. So why it is called as mucocutaneous? Because mucous membrane and skin both will be involved and along with that you will see the lymph node enlargement also so you can see that in this image you can see conjunctivitis mucous membrane then strawberry tongue mucous membrane then skin rashes along with the lymph node so all these things are involved so that is why we are calling them as a mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome mucous membrane skin and lymph node all are involved who will be affected commonly it is a pediatric patient who is less than five year old right and remember they are associated with anti endothelial syndrome or you can also say that anti endothelial antibodies are present in this right so please remember this point also sometime examiner will be writing anti endothelial antibodies also right so anti endothelial antibodies will be there and what will be the characteristic feature in this patient they will be having coronary vasculitis as I said, these are medium vessel vasculitis, right? So medium vessel vasculitis will be there. And because of this medium vessel vasculitis, they will be having coronary ectasia and coronary aneurysm. So now you can see that they are having coronary aneurysm also. So coronary artery aneurysm is a very, a very important feature in this patient because most common cause of death, most common cause of death in this patient will be myocardial infarction because of the aneurysmal rupture. So this is very, very important point. Myocardial infarction because of the aneurysmal rupture, that is the most common cause of death, right? So whenever we have to diagnose Kawasaki disease, how we are going to diagnose? So this is a mnemonic to remember that, fever with cream, right? So this is a mnemonic to remember that. So how many days fever? Fever should be more than five days. And remember, fever is the most common symptom in this patient. Right? Fever is the most common symptom. Why I am saying? Because this is the way you are going to target their treatment also. Your basic target will be to bring down the fever. Right? So that is what I wanted to say that fever is the most common and that will be for more than five days. Right? So you can see fever will be for more than five days, most common. Plus there are five more symptoms and out of five, there should be four. So out of five, if four is present, we can say that Kawasaki disease along with the fever for more than five days. So what are those things? Conjunctivitis, which came in this initial exam also. How will be the conjunctivitis? It will be non-purulent conjunctivitis. So now you can see that non-purulent conjunctivitis will be there. Right? Means there will be no exudate. <coughs> and, and when you will see the rash, rash will be polymorphous rash throughout the body. So this is the polymorphous rash you are seeing. So fever for more than five days. Conjunctivitis, which is non exudative or non purulent, and polymorphous rash, then erythema and swelling of palm and soles. So now you can see erythema and swelling of palm and soles, right? Adenopathy means lymph node. So large cervical lymph node will be there. So you can see cervical lymph node has been enlarged, right? And the last thing is the mucosal involvement. In mucosal involvement, you can see tongue is having inflammation and that is why it is also giving a strawberry tongue-like appearance. So these are the important six features. So apart from the fever, all these five, if four are present. So what are these five? Conjunctivitis, non-purulent, polymorphic rose, uh, rash, and third is erythema and swelling. Fourth is large cervical lymph node and fifth is the strawberry tongue. So out of these five, four should be present along with the fever for more than five days, right? And fever is the most common presentation. So when you are going to target the treatment, so what is our target treatment? High dose aspirin or acetyl salicylic acid will be given to this patient. So this, why we are giving aspirin? Because it is anti-inflammatory, anti-pyretic, so it will bring down the fever and anti-thrombotic it will prevent thrombosis also right so that is what we have to use this aspirin and then we can also use intravenous immunoglobulin so why why we are using intravenous immunoglobulin because this will reduce the risk of coronary artery aneurysm we can also use corticosteroid see corticosteroid will be uh, usually it is not used remember routinely we are not using it right so it is used in those cases where they are not responding to the intravenous immunoglobulin right so it is used for intravenous immunoglobulin refractory cases right so this is important point about the kawasaki disease revise this topic you may see question in your neat and fmg exam also best wishes for you